Hey boys and girls, we're going to read another Christmas story today, and this one is called Tough Cookie. The story was written and illustrated by the same person, and his name is Edward Hemingway. Yum, look at all of those treats. Uh-oh, there's a fox. Looks like something's going to happen in this story. This book was published by Henry Holt and Company in New York, and the copyright date was 2018. Once upon a time, while Fox was visiting Christmas Town in the land of holiday treats, a little cookie, still warm from the bakery oven, burst out the front door and shouted, I'm a sweet cookie. Well, hello to you too. And since you brought it up, you do look sweet. Of course I'm sweet and fast. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the sugar cookie man. Well, Fox never could resist a challenge. So he gave chase, shouting back, You look very sweet. Sweet enough to eat. Ha ha, just try to eat me. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the sugar cookie mat. Hey! The fox was pretty fast. And he loved sweets. Crunch! But Cookie wasn't sweet at all. And Fox spit him right out. Blech! You taste awful! What? How dare you? I'm a sugar cookie. I taste wonderful. Sorry to break it to you, my little friend, but you taste terrible. Plus, I think I just broke my tooth. You are one tough cookie. But I'm sweet. Um, no, you're not. But if I'm not a sweet cookie, then what am I? A slowpoke who tastes terrible? What do I do now? <laughs> there, there, don't cry. Um... Maybe you just need some sweetening up. You think so? It's worth a try. So after a quick trip to the dentist to get his tooth fixed, Fox took Cookie to the Christmas Town Spa, where the elves dipped him in delicious eggnog and even sprinkled him with powdered sugar and they sang him sugary, sweet Christmas carols. <sighs> Fox gave him a lick, <sighs> but Cookie still tasted terrible. Hmm, well, you said you were a slowpoke. Maybe we should work on your running instead. So Fox signed Cookie up for the Sweet Treat Christmas Race that very afternoon, and they headed for the park. But Cookie's stubby legs and lack of experience made it impossible for him to keep up with the more seasoned runners. All right, let's see if we can find him. Here's the finish line. All right. Here's Fox saying, run as fast as you can, Cookie. There's pie and cupcake, milkshake, ice cream cone, another cupcake. Oh, my goodness, where is he, guys? Oh, here he is. Oh, my goodness, he's barely gotten started. Oh, no. He came in last place. Oh, that's discouraging. Cookie was exhausted. And he didn't feel so tough. I mean, was he cut out for anything? Fox thought so. Fox said, every treat in Christmas town should be able to build itself a proper gingerbread house. You can too. I'll help. Okay. 
So they found a nice little spot in the gated community of Cookie Cutter, and they got to work building and decorating. But when they were finished and Cookie went inside his beautiful new home, crash! Hmm, it didn't exactly hold up. And that's when Cookie crumbled. <laughs> I'm not sweet and I'm not fast and I can't even make a gingerbread house. <laughs> Everything I do is half-baked, Fox said. Now, now, don't give up, my little Cookie. We'll figure this out. You've just got to hang in there. Hi, hello. Hello, why not hang with us? We've been looking forward to meeting you all day. Huh? What do you say? It makes perfect sense, seeing as we're Christmas tree ornaments and you are too. I am? Of course you are, silly. You're not like other cookies. You're special baked with glue and lots of salt, with a little hole in your head for a ribbon. Oh, so that's what that's for. Hmm, I should have guessed. Cookie finally knew what he was made of, and honestly, he couldn't have been happier. That afternoon, he hung with care from a branch on the biggest Christmas tree in the center of the park with the sweetest view in town. Overjoyed, Cookie shouted for all the world to hear. Look, look, look at me. You can't reach me. I'm an ornament on a tree. Make some room up there for me, Cookie. Fox never could resist a challenge. The end. How about that? He wasn't a sugar cookie at all. He was a decoration cookie, wasn't he? The end of the book says, cook up your own tough cookies. Hmm, there's lots of ingredients. And when you're finished, you don't have cookies well, actually, these are cookies that you can eat. And this is a recipe for the icing and decoration. But, ah, here's the one Miss Olson wants. This is how to make our own tough cookie ornaments. Yeah. So, Miss Olson had some of these things at home. I had flour and salt. I had some brown sugar and cinnamon and cloves. I even had some glue and water. So I made some ornaments for us to play with today and decorate. You guys that are at home, if you want one of the ornaments, there's some in the office and you can call and let them know that you're going to come by and pick one up. All right, guys, I'm going to let the story go here and we'll work together to get these ornaments prettied up. See you soon.